Sock Kit. Today this video is presented by Marilyn Rhoda. This project is funded by SAMHSA and currently implemented by University of Maryland Extension as an initiative to address the opiate epidemic in rural areas. This information was created by Partnership for Drug-Free Kids in partnership with the Medicine Abuse Project. In this video, we will cover some background about youth substance use trends, we will talk about how to give advice depending on the age of your child, we will talk about what to do when there is trouble discussing drugs. Youth Substance Abuse Trends Survey Trends report shows that there is a significant increase in students taking prescription pain medicine without a doctor's prescription. In addition to this, students are also using medications differently than how a doctor told them to use it. This increase suggests the importance of trying to correct this negative trend. Now, we are going to talk about how to talk to your children depending on how old they are. Different ages will require a different approach to talk to them about drugs. Knowing this will increase your success in communicating with your son or daughter. Middle school. Your child will be asked or offered to at some point drugs and alcohol. It is important to discuss actions and possible consequences. Let them know you're on their side and doing the best for them and their future. Your teen is starting high school. Remind your teen of possible peer pressure situations. Provide guidance and note that there's a possibility of them showing resistance to your request. Next, we are going to go over what to say when there is a teen abuse of prescription drugs and over-the-counter cough medicine. For this section, we will go over the difference between prescription versus over-the-counter. Just to be clear, prescription drugs are given by a medical professional. Over-the-counter drugs are medicines that can be found on the shelf at most grocery or convenience stores. The image above is a quick sheet on how medicine labels may appear. This image breaks down possible information each label may contain and how to read it properly. Quick scenarios. Now we are going to discuss painkillers after injury. When discussing painkillers, there's a possibility of children using more drugs than what is prescribed to them. Understand your child's dilemma. Let them know to come to you. Let them know the importance of the following dosage. Not following the correct dosage can lead to an addiction. What if your child is at home more because his friends are changing slowly? What if their friends are talking about prescription drugs, yet they choose not to do it? Let them know you are proud that they did not do drugs. Praise their actions. Do not dismiss their friends and let them know that people may change. If there is trouble discussing drugs, find examples of being up against situations. Any situation can help, such as fictional characters, classmates, or a movie star. Try to pick an example that your child relates more to. There's no way to avoid or shield children from drugs or alcohol completely. It is important to learn how to deal with certain situations. Give your child the knowledge to succeed. Give them the resources to have a chance to step forward. Have a conversation regarding the background of your family. Be honest if there's a history of abuse or neglect. The knowledge does not have to just be given by adults. It can be given by anyone. This includes aunts and uncles, out-of-town relatives, and grandparents. If you need additional assistance, please contact us at marylandroda.org. If not, you can email us at marylandroda at umd.edu. Thank you for listening.